Monday morning, the loss of a playoff series in Boston the night before no longer meant anything. They'd lost a teammate and a friend. Defenseman Steve Chason was killed on his way home in a single vehicle accident near Raleigh. We're shocked and saddened today with the passing of Steve Chason. This is a, a tragedy that none of us can put into words. Chason was returning home from the airport when his pickup truck went off the road, flipped over and threw him from the vehicle. A highway patrol spokesperson said that preliminary investigations indicated that speeding and alcohol were involved, although results of blood alcohol tests were not available. He was the kind of guy everybody wanted to be around and, and uh, certainly a big member with his teammates and just a real ordinary guy that loved the game of hockey and loved the people around him. In our environment, we have a a family amongst players, an extended family amongst wives and, and children that, that go to school together and play on sports teams together. And it's, it's really a, an environment unlike any other. There's no other way to put it except for we've lost a member of our family. Jason had a stellar OHL career with the Guelph Platers. He was Memorial Cup MVP in 1986. He'd been drafted by the Detroit Red Wings in 1985 and played eight seasons with the Wings, leading the team's defenseman in scoring in 88-89 and 89-90 and earning an All-Star berth in 93. The following season, he was dealt to Calgary where he played for two and a half seasons, posting 74 of his 398 career points. In the middle of the 96-97 season, he was traded to the then Hartford Whalers, remaining with the team for the move to Carolina. After missing the playoffs for two seasons with the Hurricane franchise, but winning a gold medal at the World Championships in 1997, Chazon returned to the postseason this year, scoring the final goal of his career in Game 5 against the Bruins. Like all that Steve loved the game of hockey. He was a skilled player, he took a youthful approach to the game. He was a man of tremendous character and a loving father. We'll all miss him. Steve Chason was 32. He leaves behind his wife Susan and three children. Two boys, Michael, age seven, Ryan, age four, and a daughter, Stephanie, just two years old. A tragedy that struck every hockey fan I spoke to on Monday. To baseball, and you have to wonder whether Felipe